What is up YouTube and welcome to this Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Titans TV show. So if you're new to the channel, a like and a subscribe is super, super appreciated if you do enjoy this video. Please do leave a like on your way out as well and click that bell button to get notifications. So there is a lot of cool stuff going on here in the geek world. I will be having a Star Wars video coming up later and you can check out my Star Wars review as well. It's pretty long with the first 10 minutes actually being spoiler free. So everyone, here it is. We have finally, finally seen the whole thing, the whole suit from Hawk and Dove from the Titans TV show. So what is really, really awesome is the fact that we have, of course, we have Thad playing the role of, well, one half of Hawk and Dove. And I cannot absolutely wait until this show actually airs. And we really do see the new suit. So they've teased us here with the suits from the show. And they look really, really, really awesome. I have to say, they were a lot better than I was possibly expecting. I mean, the suits in TV shows, especially TV shows, always tend to look a bit rubbish. Uh, I think the Flash is a bit of an exception. Arrow is, well, you, there's not much else you can do. But a lot of them tend to look a bit naff. But here in Titans, we had the first one, which was Robin. Robin looked absolutely amazing. Of course, and Brendan Thwaites playing him. I'm interested to see where this goes. He was okay in Pirates of the Caribbean, but I'm not too sure where this is actually going to go. But it makes sense that this suit looks so, so good because it's actually done by Laura Jean Shannon, who actually was involved with Iron Man and Black Lightning. And Black Lightning's suit looks really, really awesome. And it seems like they're going for that kind of really realistic, kind of, kind of really minimalist versions of these suits. And they do look really, really amazing here. And Hawk and Dove are kind of a very interesting addition here to Titans. And they are actually two different agents. They are so we've got Hawk, who is an agent of chaos, and Dove is an agent of order. And they actually are a crime fighting duo. They work together to, you know, sort out all of the kind of crimes in their local area. Now, obviously, we've got we we have really quite a few things with Hank, who is going to be Hawk, he, he, he's very kind of hot-headed, and I think the actor who's playing him fits in quite well. He was great in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and having him fit in here as well, uh, as well, he was also Thad as well, like I said, in Blue Mountain State. So I think he's going to be really awesome. I think they've, they've hit the nail on the head with this casting, if I was honest. Now, what is really, really cool here is that they've actually changed. So, in New 52, we actually had Dove be a female version. So, it's really cool they're kind of adding this and mixing this up. I think it'll add for, if they're not two guys, it'll add a bit more kind of interaction. And I think that it would possibly actually add a, a bit more of a more interesting dynamic instead of it was just two dudes. And obviously, they are a crime-fighting duo. So what they could actually, that what they, what's going to be cool is that they're going to add a kind of duo dynamic to the team, which is quite similar to Hawkman and Hawk Girl over on Legends of Tomorrow. So I think they look really, really cool. It's a very kind of deep cut. It's not someone I would expect to add to Titans, but I guess they can't afford the if they or can't won't really want to do the proper Titans. The question is, what are they actually going to be in the Titans, or are they just going to be kind of flying around with kind of satellite characters? But they are going to be regulars, so I think that they actually will be. Now, next up, we've got a lot of stuff coming out of Agents of Shield. Now, what is really cool is we've actually got two interviews. So, in an interview with TV Line, Clark Gregg, who plays Coulson, actually said that the deal he made with Ghost Rider at the end of season four. That debt will come due at some point. And that's really, really cool. So it kind of hints towards that we will be getting Ghost Rider back. I'm hoping that we get Ghost Rider back as well. I think Robbie Reyes' Ghost Rider fit perfectly in this. And he was absolutely amazing. It just was such a good season. I think really I would have loved a Ghost Rider kind of spin-off. And I think personally, if they did spin him off into a Netflix show... I think it would be great. His, his origins already happen, or not his origin, but he's been introduced already. And they can just go off with him being the spirit of vengeance. But of course, he still has the dark hole. He's off in the mystic realms. So it's not sure how he will actually come back. 
but I expect he'll come back at some point with vengeance as well. But I'm expecting him not to come back until after this kind of story pod in space and in the future has actually finished. And what is really, really weird as well is the fact that there has been a hint towards Mac actually leaving the team. So Jed Whedon has spoken to Entertainment Weekly and he said that I think he's pretty fed up, but they're all pretty close. They all like each other quite a bit, so it's hard to leave your friends behind. One of the things that's fun for us this year is we really are just a family. At the end last year, Daisy says we all go down together, and now we're putting that to the test. And obviously, well, they are a family, but, you know, actually the problem is, well, they're in space and they're coming to quite a big, big thing, a kind of huge problems, of course, and he's just cut out the framework. I mean, a lot of these guys just come out the framework straight into the next problem. And he lost his daughter that he had again in the framework. So it would be interesting to see Mac leave the team. What I would like to see is maybe him join the rest of the people trying to get the agents back. Because we actually haven't seen Earth or kind of the Earth in the past just yet. Or is this just another alternate reality, which is another option? Could this simply all just be a huge different reality and that'd be really really cool if they're introducing this multiverse and i really do hope that they actually are however that is it for this video please drop a like please do subscribe and i'll see you soon goodbye